All right, hey there. So today we are looking at the Korg Sound Editor. It's originally used uh, Mac System 6. Uh, I've used this before on an actual Mac SE, and I really wanted to be able to work with this Korg without breaking out the real Mac SE. So thankfully, I uh, found a compiled version of MIDI vMac. Many thanks to the folks that worked on that. And so I'm using the Korg MIDI driver. This is in my system folder instead of the Apple MIDI driver. Um, I think both work, but for this for this one, I'm just using the Korg one. So you open Patch Bay, and then I've also got MIDI Patch Bay open on my main computer here where we're running the emulator. So we'll fire up the Korg folder. We've got a few banks to work with in here. This is a program that does something to MIDI files to make them playable, but I uh, haven't messed with that much. So the sound editor fires up. And you can hit all sound off and you'll see it blow up with MIDI messages. So we're going to open, go with the house funk here. And so we've got all these programs and as soon as I click on one, you're going to see the synth immediately jump to that program. Um, where I ran into a problem initially was the UM1 that I'm using. Uh, as you can see, both of these should be checked. It just disappears when I'm not on this window. But the UM1 where I'm directing the VMAC2 wasn't returning the stuff back. So I'm using a separate MIDI interface for the return channel. So basically MIDI VMAC is talking to my UM1 to the synth and then the synth is hooked to a different USB interface uh, going back to the, the V modem. So we'll pick one here and if we select it it'll pop up and show us all these nice parameters and if we hit keyboard we can send MIDI notes. So I'm going to kill my microphone and just kind of click around a bit and show you guys some stuff. Hopefully uh, you find this interesting. All right, thanks, guys. I know this was just kind of a random demo, but uh, hope somebody finds this useful. Cheers.